so after i finished my notes it, it the, the notes came one to my like domain one and two i could fit in like 10 pages or something so when i read my notes I, it felt like i was reading a smaller portion rather than the whole book or the whole pdf so that itself gave me the confidence i, mean, I have only 10 pages i can complete the revision in like one hour or two hours there a lot of people had mentioned purchase question dumps do the questions first you will know most of the concepts then you can revise or learn the remaining questions but i feel that wouldn't give you the proper understanding about the concept so i would say do the understand the concepts first then go to the question dumps or anything and then do it so you will know how far you can apply your understanding rather than first doing the question dumps then getting the understanding i mean again taking notes taking your handwritten notes rather than even typing it or writing it in your phone or anywhere handwritten notes are always better very useful is what i would say hello everyone uh, welcome to sisa this much this is aditya and today we have with us shanti uh, she has recently qualified sisa shanti first of all heartiest congratulations for qualifying sisa so before we ask you any question you know how is it feeling you know uh, qualifying sisa in the first attempt it seems very nice sir, because when i was reading or researching about sisa i found that lot of people saying it was a very hard exam and you would need some kind of it background or experience so when i cleared it in my first attempt i felt very happy uh, great uh, so can you please introduce yourself your background and you know uh, what made you choose this certification sisa Yes, so, so myself, I'm Shanti. I'm doing my BCom third year currently. In 2024 May, I cleared my CA inter in the first attempt, both groups. And in February, I cleared US CMA Part One also. So the main reason I was looking to do other certifications like US CMA and CISA was because I finished my CA inter in the first year. I didn't want to discontinue college and go for articleship. So I thought, why not finish other quality certifications, qualification? So when I go for articleship, I will also have more qualifications. So my father is an IT professional. he's completed sism so he told me you it will be you can do sisa it will be a little related to the audit you've done in ca inter so that's where i came across sisa and that's where i found your classes also to prepare for sisa sir uh great great and that's a good decision i think you know because making this decision right at the start uh because you know uh, what happens is that people make these uh, decisions and these calls you know at the later stages of their life you know when once they uh, feel that okay once i i once i get you know certain years of experience or once i you know reach certain age then i will go for these professional certifications but you know the advantage which you have is that by the time you know you will reach at that certain age and a certain experience you will already be having a lot of you know certifications and licenses in your hand and that will create an advantage and it's that you know you also understand see it's it's not just about passing the exam you know like you know uh, since you have gone through our uh, course and you know, i always keep on saying that you know passing anyone can pass this exam but more important than passing is to under, to get the value out of it so you know uh, learning things out of it getting value out of it and these you know knowledge will help you you know in the future and that's a great decision you know so uh, i mean this is something new for us also because you know uh, we we take a lot of interviews but normally what happens is that people you know we we take interviews they have 10 years of experience 15 years of experience you know they have a, a, uh, you know reach certain age in their life but you know uh, <coughs> i can understand you know uh, like you must be having lots of uh, you know see you are, you are, you are uh, currently uh, in uh, tyb com you know so you have the your college and everything is going on you have that responsibility then you are doing your ca inter you know even even uh, you know whatever you say but but even that consumes lot of your time you know uh, you need to study and it's it's not ending like you know once you clear one one group or once you clear one uh, stage you have the other stage ready so it's that you don't get time so how uh, you know you were able to manage your time that's the biggest question because your interview will be a motivation and inspiration for lot of people who are 
you know at a similar age because you know nowadays you know the trend which i have which i have seen is that you know people are even doing article ship in IA, ias audit because you know previously that was not the culture but now in certain cities in india uh, uh, students you know they are very much clear and they are like you know we will be doing our internship and article ship and IS audit they have CISA so by the time they clear their CA it's that they have experience they have CISA and definitely they have more weightage or more you can say uh, value as compared to a fresher guy who is not having any experience at all so you know but the but the biggest question is time management so you know I want to understand from you Yes, sir. So my college timings is from around 8.45 to 3. So usually I try to study during college also whenever I have free time. But the main thing is when I come home, I take a small break until I reach home by 3.45. I take a break till 5. Then I sit and study every day for like two to three hours. So I have a small whiteboard here. So I write down whatever I want to finish for a week or for a day, depending on how the day or week goes. And I try to tick as soon as it's done. So that itself gives me an idea how much have I been productive for the day or the week. So if, if for like two, three days, I don't study due to some reason, the next day I make sure I complete it because by the end of the week, it will be me who sees the board and changes it again. So I think that way I've gotten used to managing my time. And as far as college, since most of my subjects are overlapping with the ones I've prepared for CA, so college work is not that hard. So I'm able to manage it. So I take notes for everything I study. I have a like 12 color pens i use that to take notes so i take the notes wherever i go if i go out i have the notes in my phone also or the print out the paper notes i've written i take that to college so whenever i get time it's easier to read my notes rather than the book or the pdf so that way i've gotten used to studying yeah yeah so uh, that's a great way you know uh, uh, because you know even even i keep on saying that uh, you know when you write down things you know there are two things which happens no number one is that you uh, you know when you are listening to something and when you are uh, writing it down uh, it creates active listening mode so you know you are not just passively listening you are you are actively involved into it secondly you know this your own notes will help you later on because then afterwards it's not that you know for revising these things you, you you don't again need to read the books and you know watch the lectures your own notes really helps you mm -hmm. and uh, i really liked your strategy of you know writing down in the in the board because i have heard uh, you know uh, in the past uh, not from a CISA student but you know from other person that that works again you know even it's something uh, you know i can also try and uh, uh, what happens is that uh, there's a saying that when you see your own results right in front of you so let's say if i haven't studied today and tomorrow and i know right in front of me in the board that i haven't studied for two days so it's that it creates accountability inside you and it creates that sense of urgency to do so does that work in that way because it's it's a, it's a good it's a good uh, strategy you know it's not just for CISA but for anything in life like so so does that work and also uh, did you have uh, some kind of strategy that you'll be studying more on weekends and holidays and you know maybe like two three hours on weekdays when you are going to the college like did you have that kind of strategy or you were like no I'll, I'll study equal number of hours every day so the whiteboard, it did create a sense of urgency because when I write every week and say one week I'm not able to complete a major chunk, the next week I will know that I have a lot more to cover than I had planned. So that creates some kind of panic. Just to ensure I don't panic, I try to finish off whatever I do in that week. And yes, during weekdays, I try to do two to three hours. And during the weekend, Saturday, Sundays, I try to study more. So on Saturdays, the entire day, mostly I study, maybe take a small nap in the afternoon. In Sundays, every Sunday morning, we go to Ashram. It's a heartfulness meditation center. There's morning meditation there. It happens every Sunday. So I go there. We leave from home around 7, come back at 9. I come take a small break. And Sunday also, I study throughout the Sunday. So that's most of my portions I try to finish during the weekend. So again, in my whiteboard, I'll have the board 
from monday to friday i would have written whatever i want to cover and for saturday and sunday each day i'll change it for saturday i have to cover so much and sunday i have to cover so much so that way i cover more portions also and weekends i can spend more time for studying also yeah thank you for the detailed answer and uh, so since we have lot of domains the syllabus is huge and it's not just the concepts it's that you know you have to practice the questions you have to revise things so what was your revision strategy like um, once you finished all the five domains and uh, uh, how, first of all how many times you have done the revision that is also an, uh, one question because uh, like you know if someone ask me okay uh, maybe he he or she is a student or not that doesn't matter but if anyone ask us that you know how many times you know they need to revise so i i normally advise that at least two times you know you are supposed to revise that's something minimum criteria you know you know to go and write the exam confidently uh, how many times you have revised and uh, did the revision helped you and uh, what will be your advice to people you know especially for the revision and 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 because of the reason that the syllabus is huge you know as an auditor uh, you are supposed to know at least basics of everything and that's the reason like domains like domain number 5 the amendments and all it was too vast it was too huge but all the topics are important because you know it's it's like if you are investing your time now it will help you in the future because now your foundation is clear now you understand what's the the logic what's the you know reality you know uh, uh, behind these firewalls and you know lots of attacks happening and this you know new encryption <coughs> uh, amendments and then zero trust architecture and industrial control system there are so many amendments which were there right so the foundation which you are creating it now tomorrow again new amendments will come in the future like five years down the line new things will come new and new things will come but the foundation which is ready at this particular phase this will help you to learn the new things in the future because then you will be able to recall oh i have learned something like this be, uh, you know in my csa syllabus uh, previously and uh, something new has come in the market okay wow so there was some loopholes previously and this is something new happening so that's how you will be able to link with what you, what you have learned but at the same point of time when it comes to learning it, learning cannot come in in short span of time you need to invest your time you need to uh, you know and that creates you know sometimes huge number of hours for domains like especially domain number 5 which is actually technical in nature so uh, how did you manage with uh, uh, these uh, difficult technical domains and uh, about uh, the your your revision strategy for for you know handling bigger domains so before my revision like i said i took notes for all the domains all the topics so the note taking habit it came from my mother only during my 11th and 12th i was very reluctant to take notes but my mom was like trust me it will work and it started helping me during my revision exams of 12th also so from then for whatever i study any topic any subject i take notes so that during revision every time i revise i think i revise two to three times the whole thing so my notes is what helped me a lot so after i finished my notes it, it the, the notes came one to my like domain one and two i could fit in like 10 pages or something so when i read my notes I, it felt like i was reading a smaller portion rather than the whole book or the whole pdf so that itself gave me the confidence i, mean, I have only 10 pages i can complete the revision in like one hour or two hours so for the technical domain it did take me also some time some understanding so my way of revision is that once i once i finish my notes the next time i take it i read it and i try to actively recall it rather than reading it line by line i finish the reading once and i try to recollect whatever is there so i take a topic and what are the points i've mentioned in this topic i try to remember all that and if i missed a point after i finish the entire domain or a uh, part of the domain only i'll go check what are the points i have missed so the next time i make sure oh last time i missed the missed this point i shouldn't miss it this time that way i recollect it and when i started doing the questions if i miss any questions i usually screenshot it and send it to my whatsapp so the next time i'm trying i try to note what was the mistake i made how did i not understand that so i add that point also in my revision notes 
So that way I will also ensure when I'm revising the next step, I revise all the points and also remember what mistake I made so I don't make it again. So everything in in just under ten pages. So ten pages, yes. one domain with all the pointers and all the important things. Everything is ready. So wow. So that that that's a that's a nice uh, strategy because you know it it takes away your stress because then end of the day you need to revise and you are like I just need to uh, you know go through just ten pages and that too something which is written in my own handwriting. So mm-hmm. yeah yeah that. So uh, my next question to you is like, did you feel? overall so you know uh, since you have also mentioned that you know your father uh, you know has motivated encouraged you to do sisa uh, like i'm not sure but you know uh, at the start like were you you know having were you hesitant to do something in it because that's not your area and did you feel that it will be difficult for you and uh, now since you have given the exam like do you feel that this exam is that technical that people who are f- doing ca inter or you know maybe cma uh, foundation cma inter or cs uh, something uh, so will will they not be able to understand or or will it be difficult for these people uh, to crack this exam in terms of not just cracking but also in terms of understanding the core uh, essence of it I think only the domain five I felt was a bit technical. Apart from that, the most of the processes it was related to audit. So I had a background of audit. I liked audit also a lot when I studied it for CA Inter. So I found this very interesting. It was definitely new, and I did find certain questions hard. But then I think it will be possible when you have an understanding about audit. It will be easy to do the exam. Yeah, and I'm sure that your father will be very proud of you because since he is also CSM qualified, and uh, as a father, uh, you know, seeing daughter to clear CSA in the first attempt because again, CSA it's a very valuable certification, and uh, uh, that too, you know, based on your background, and then you you clear and uh, and you not just clear, but you also learned, you get you got the value out of it, which is I, I always say I I keep on saying that that's also one of the important factor, you know, behind investing in any of the IT certification. Not just CSA; it could be any certification. You know, it's not just passing, but it's also getting value out of it. So, uh, really, uh, kudos to you for that. And um, any uh, last piece of advice you would like to give to the audiences who are watching your video? I think before going to the questions or doing the questions, I think first there should be a proper conceptual understanding because when I was seeing study tricks or anything in Google or anywhere, a lot of people had mentioned purchase question downs, do the questions first. You will know most of the concept, then you can revise or learn the remaining questions. But I feel that wouldn't give you the proper understanding about the concept. So I would say do the Understand the concepts first, then go to the question dumps or anything, and then do it. So you will know how far you can apply your understanding rather than first doing the question dumps, then getting the understanding. Again, again taking notes, taking your handwritten notes rather than even typing it or writing it in your phone or anywhere. Handwritten notes are always better. Very useful is what I would say. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your entire journey with us. We wish you all the best for your future, you. and uh, again, congratulations for qualifying CISA in the first attempt. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.